easy ways to refresh your space, and one of them is to look down at your rug and see how you might be able to have some fun with layering. Exactly. You know, it's really nice to keep it neutral and keep it simple, but sometimes you just want to change things up a bit. Yeah. So if you've started with a simple sizal rug or you've got a beautiful um, wool rug, just, you know, no pattern, no interest, yeah. great place to start, but you want to you know, kick it up a bit. So what I would do is I would start here with just very simple and then add in this beautiful um, oversaturated, over dyed rug on top. Yeah. And what that does is it creates an impact in the room and it also closes in your furniture, um, your arrangement, okay? And then if you wanted to create luxury, it's January, we want to warm things up, you just want to throw a nice fur or this beautiful shag in front of the fireplace, nice. that can go on top. So you can actually do one, two, three, all in the same room, and it creates interest, it makes the room look more vibrant, mm -hmm. and then if you want more traditional look, again, maybe you've got that beautiful tapestry rug, and you want it to be the focal point in the room, but it's too small. So buy an oversized rug, maybe it's broad loom again, yep. or again, this great sizal, and that gets tucked underneath, and it gives you a beautiful look and a less expensive way to get impact in a room. Now, is there anything you need to consider when you're putting one rug on top of the other? Like, you, wouldn't, you don't want the shag underneath, do you? You don't want the shag you underneath. You never want the shag underneath. <laughs> so, Anything that's fluffy and light and shaggy is on top. that needs to be on the top. Right. And the bottom layers may be a little bit more industrial? Yeah, so you, like, again, Sizel's a great uh, place to start. Yeah. Or, again, a broad loom. You've bought your broad loom or you've done wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in your bedroom. Yes. So that's flat weave, very, very, um, you know, easy to uh, to layer. Yep. And then on top of that, you're going to put a tapestry, or you're going to put this beautiful over dye, or again the fur. Got okay? it. Now, okay. if you want to create more of an intimate space around the setting, mm -hmm. or maybe you want to angle your furniture, a nice way to change up the shape of a room is with the a hide. A faux hide is beautiful because you get that, especially in a room where it's not, um, it's oddly shaped. Exactly. This is going to be really nice to go along with it. And the nice thing about this, again, they're, they're easy to move around. They're very flat. Yeah. So even if they are sitting on a few different layers, they're not going to interfere. And you can have your coffee table. Maybe you've got a round coffee table yeah. or a rectangular coffee table. Yep. You can angle the furniture very nicely around a hide. Right. We all know LT does rugs amazingly. They so do. it's They've nice got... to see all the options they have and all, the, all of these are from LT. They are. So what the ones I'm standing on right now, what kind is this silk? This is actually what's called bamboo silk. Okay. So bamboo silk is something that you want to use as your top layer in small spaces. Maybe again mm. you've got your broad loom in your bedroom yeah. or you've got an over dyed or over worn rug and then you want to create the luxury. You want something really nice underfoot. Got it. So this one here feels absolutely amazing. Again, bamboo silk. It creates pattern again, so you want to, you know, add some interest to your room. So do it with a pattern rug, yes. but in small spaces. Maybe you have an oversized bedroom, yep. and you want to have a seating area. That's a great place to, you know, to just throw it. a rug, again, off-center, and it creates interest. Now, would you, on a personal level, would you ever do pattern on pattern? Do I you would. Ever do that? You would Definitely. do that. I would actually do, you know, I know this isn't a lot of pattern, but I would create pattern on pattern. Yes. Um, I, for me, it's more about texture. Okay. I like to do, like, you know, again, very simple yeah. and add some fur, add some silk. Mm -hmm. And again, you want to put your uh, more expensive and your more luxurious things on top. Got it. And it's all about that comfort level because that's what we're all trying to achieve. And then summer comes and you you, you roll back the layers. You right. Know? So then, exactly, summertime, you just have your size a lot. Yes. It's very easy to live with. Yeah. And, um, and again, it keeps, keeps it more of a fresh look. Very nice. Okay, now you know how to layer your rugs. You can do that tonight, actually, if you wanted to. So you thanks can. for that lesson. Go buy a rug.